Okay guys, uh, just a quick video um, showing off the picture command that you should be using um, instead of the background bitmap command that is shown in this uh, video here. Okay, so I think if you go to the video uh, that kind of details the beginning of kind of showing the how to import the uh, base drawings for the Ondo 4x4 house. Um, around this uh, 346 mark, I think I show you how to do essentially um, using this command, the background bitmap here, to place it and to pick, in this case, the plans, right, of the under house like this, right? Now this is a background bitmap and uh, one of the things that it doesn't show up in any other viewports, right? It only shows up in the one viewport in which you inserted it. And um, scaling it, right, because we have to kind of scale these correctly to the right dimensions um, is kind of more uh, difficult because you have to, have to kind of go through this uh, sort of uh, command line interface to scale things and whatnot. Okay, so it's a bit more you know involved and kind of annoying. It's not as flexible as this new command that I'm going to show you. It's called just picture. So just type picture, and you'll go to the same dialog box when you plop this in, right? And you can actually you'll see you'll able you'll be able to plop this in actually with color. Um, and the other th nice thing is that uh, we can look at the properties. It's basically applied to the surface, to a surface, like automatically, right? And you can actually move it around, right? Just like you would select any surface, you can put uh, on any sort of layer uh, in terms of like, oh, you might want to actually put these on a layer here called plans or like trace plans, for example, right? Um, and when these are in the right location and whatnot, you might want to lock them, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, the other kind of nice, uh, actually, thing about this is that it, as opposed to the original sort of background bitmap and uh, where, you know, um, it's harder to kind of manipulate this, actually, because it's on a plane, it's geometry, you can actually manipulate it. It shows up in uh, all the sort of different sort of views. Uh, even in wireframe or shaded, right, in shaded view, it shows up. In wireframe, it shows up. In ghosted, right, uh, arctic, let's see, arctic, arctic mode, right, it shows up as well, okay? So it basically kind of shows up in all the sort of different kind of view styles, and I think that's really great, double-sided, right, this sort of thing, okay? So, um... The other half of this is actually you can manipulate it by trimming it, for example. So I'm actually just going to draw a, a line through it, ortho, like this, for example. Right? We just imported that one once, okay? And this, I can use these lines to kind of break it up, for example. So uh, let's actually use the split command. Select object to split, splitting this, enter. And then using these three as cutting objects, which will then actually break this into, right, three different parts, four different parts, okay? And that's great because now I can look at the perspective and you'll see, okay, so these are all in the same sort of, you know, uh, base drawing. I can actually now kind of organize and rearrange these, you know, how I kind of want it, right? Now, if you're following my example, uh, this actually should be something you shouldn't do generally in the first place, um, just because we want to kind of do the scaling together and everything, you know, at first, okay? So I'll kind of start out um, by doing this a similar thing where I kind of draw the 400 by 400 centimeter sort of box right here first, right? And then you can actually then sort of try to match this pretty close, okay? And then we knowing that this is 400 by 400, I can select the sort of plane itself, do a scaling here, and essentially try to match this as much as I can, right? I'll turn off my center snap. So hold down shift to get this kind of more horizontal, uh, basically constrained to the horizontal plane, right? So roughly there, and then basically snap it to more or less the box that I had drawn, right? So that 
way, you'll know roughly. And this image might be kind of just a bit, little bit off, right? Um, so you can kind of reposition it. But the idea is that, like, you know, now this should be, this whole series of uh, plans should be the right scale, roughly. And now you can kind of go forward with the rest of the exercise, just like this way, kind of by continuing with the tracing of the floor plan now that we know that this is uh, adequately sized. Um, another thing actually that is helpful is that if you don't want to accidentally select it, you can lock that layer, right? Oops. Uh, actually put it on that layer first. So uh, change object layer, right? And lock it. So now I can't actually select it, right? That's one way of doing it. The other way is actually just select the object and type lock, which actually You'll lock it. It will turn it a slightly different color, but it's the same thing, right? This is a temporary lock. It's not on a lock layer, but it does basically the exact same thing until I unlock it by unlocking that one object. And okay, uh, I'm going to remove this uh, uh, background bitmap. Just uh, remove so it goes away. But, you know, once this is scaled correctly, I can then actually kind of cut them apart if I want to. But I do suggest actually you trace them right right where they are because everything should be aligned perfectly here and then kind of move them afterwards. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. That should just replace the that, that uh, sort of command and everything else uh, stays the same.